There's something magical about the Canterbury High Country. It's captivating, it's compelling, it's really engaging. So Manahuna itself is, is a, a precious name. It's an old name. Literally, it means the place of enlightenment, which has um, some connotations as being a place of energy. We're really building on decades of work uh, by the department and by the community into the kaki, the world's rarest wading bird. The last report I did as Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment was about New Zealand's birds. The rhybill was one that I fell in love with. <laughs> Only bird in the world with a beak that curves to the side and always to the right, never to the left. We have 93 uh, endemic birds in New Zealand, birds found nowhere else. The whole of the United Kingdom has one. You know, this is pretty special. The black stilt, the khaki, the rhybill, dotterels, uh, up here on these braided rivers. and. We really need to look after them. We're going to end up with 310,000 hectare, Pretty the Free mainland island. That's a massive area, roughly twice the size of Stewart Island, three times the size of Auckland. Te Manahuna Aoraki presents an amazing opportunity to bring a lot of parties together. Uh, the fact that uh, we're up around our Moka Atua, our mountains, amongst our Tupuna lakes, is hugely important for the three runaka, the mana whenua of that area. So we're going beyond the boundaries of Aoraki Mount Cook National Park to work with our neighbours. The real power in this programme is the scale that we're operating at. We have been trying to manage our wilding trees, but there are other pests such as Canadian geese, rabbits, hares. Long term, not only visually will they change the landscape, but they'll also have a huge impact on the biodiversity that is in this area. And once it's gone, it's gone. Manahuna Aoraki is this uh, amazing opportunity working with the endangered species that live in this environment from the mountaintops through to the greater rivers. To think that we're in an area that's pest and predator free, be pretty proud to know that that's what we've been involved with and would demonstrate to the rest of New Zealand that it is a chapel. We're going to have lots of riverbed birds here, we're going to have lots of care, we're going to have all sorts of species commonly seen. It's going to be stunning. <laughs>